Hey guys, it's Bartley from the Furman Admission Office. It's Friday, just before travel season. We're about to hit the road, visiting high schools and college fairs close to you. Um, before we do, let's go see what everybody's up to today. Hey Elizabeth, how's it going? Oh, hi Bartley, how are you? Good, good. Elizabeth is one of our brand new counselors. She's about to start um, her very first travel season. Are you excited? I am, I am very excited. When students ask how, how many things they should be involved in in high school, what do you tell them? That they don't have to be involved in everything. I think that's really tempting, but that they should pick a few things that they're really passionate about and stay involved in those things and maybe take on some leadership roles to show us that they're committed to certain things and really passionate about them. I appreciate a good handshake and a nice smile that always is a nice icebreaker to get conversations started. One of the first things for a art student to do, whether that's music, theater, or visual arts, is to visit campus and actually meet some of the professors. Keeping in contact with your admission counselor is so important because we have a lot of information through the course of the year that we'd like to pass on about application deadlines and that sort of thing. And it also gives me an opportunity to learn more about you as a student. Finding the right college is definitely all about finding the right fit for you. I think looking at um, every aspect of a college to make sure academically, socially, campus, the people, the community, the area, all fits what you're looking for. Hey Jake, oh, nope, not here. Request and meeting with your admission counselor, come prepared with some questions. Tell us something in your college admission essay that we don't know for the rest of your application. Instead of thinking of the whole movie of your life, think about one specific scene. Um, one day, one conversation, one car ride, and give me a lot of detail about that and help me learn a little bit more about you. Um, those are the essays that really stand out. I would say looking for scholarships, start early. Uh, you know, oftentimes students will wait to hear if they've gotten into a school before doing the scholarship search process, and oftentimes if they do that, they find that it's too late. Still not here. Clearly, he's hiding from us. I, I really encourage students, whether they're juniors just starting their college search or absolutely seniors who have an admitted uh, group of schools that are a group of schools that they've been admitted to, to spend some time talking to faculty, get a sense of what the faculty. Uh, what are their commitments, what are their priorities, um, how do they engage with the underclassmen uh, or the student body on campus. Um, the classroom is a, is a great way to do that. You can go visit a class. So you think that colleges are judging you, you should be judging colleges as well. Uh, you're looking for a college that's going to fit you too. So uh, everything that you're trying to show us, we're trying to show you as well. So go into your visits. You know, not not all uh, buttoned down and trying to impress us, but trying to figure out if uh, the school's going to be right for you and offer you the things that you're going to need to be the best student you can be. 